So the first set of cables we put in, we put in those bins because we could be at home 25 miles from the from that, that facility and still know what's going on in that facility. And it's just like what Kelly's gonna do before this is over with. It's kind of like when you didn't have a forklift and you got a forklift in your shop and you're like, how did I spend 10 years without a forklift? The cables are the same way for me. It, it, it's, it's mandatory. I would never build a bin in my life without without a cable system in it. It just, it eliminates everything. And like, you know, Adam was saying, there's no reason to get in the bin. We used to have to get the bin and probe samples. And, you know, we had, we even had spreaders in there. We went away from the spreaders because we'll fill the bin up. We'll get a, a peak and then we'll reverse peak that, you know, and make it come down where it's drying better in the center. And we never level bins anymore. We spent a lot of time labor and money leveling bins Number two, the, that's the most dangerous thing you can do as far as a safety issue is get in there and try to level the bin. So it's been a, it's been a miracle for me to have, you know, those technologies.